don't flex your back in your rear poses. So what I mean by that is when you try to flex your muscle in the back pose, what you're doing is you're shortening muscle fibers and you're bringing everything to midline. I'm going to have my, my example here hit a back double bicep where he is really trying to flex his back musculature, trying to bring everything as close together as possible. And what you're going to see is, yeah, although he has a ton of detail, you know, really, really squeeze, really squeeze. Although he has a ton of detail and his muscles are really hard right here, he's shortening all these muscle fibers. He's bringing everything to midline and he's shrinking his silhouette. Relax. Get a proper rear double bicep for me. And I want you to notice the difference between when he's flexing all his back musculature versus when he is just nice and wide through the back. We get wide through the back by externally rotating the shoulder and abducting the shoulder. That puts the shoulder in what we call its closed pack position. You can relax. And what that is going to ensure is that all of this musculature that is influenced by the shoulder joint is going to be activated. And that's going to eliminate your need to flex your back musculature. It's the same thing in like a rear relax. Do a rear relax for me. Really try to flex the, the back musculature. Yeah, really squeeze. See how he squeezes those shoulder blades together? He's pinching, pinch right there for me. Really squeeze. He's pinching all that together. It brings everything to midlines and it shrinks the silhouette. So instead, internally rotate the shoulders, roll them over and get wide through the back. That is going to be the best package that you can present on stage when you're nice and wide and relaxed in your back musculature. So I want you to remember this. In any of your back shots, make sure you're not flexing and that you're just allowing the leanness of the skin and the conditioning to show off the back musculature.